Metopic synostosis is a condition whereby the two frontal bones, right in the front, just above the eyes, have fused together prematurely. The resultant head shape is often very abnormal. And the term that we use is trigonocephaly. And we use the term trigonocephaly because if you look at the child from the top down, or the bird's eye view, one gets a very triangular shaped head. And what happens is that because these sutures have fused in the front, one gets a little ridge, and the growth in the frontal area laterally or side to side is severely restricted. So one gets significant pinching just above the eyes. In full-blown metopic synostosis, the only treatment is surgical. And this involves a major anterior reconstruction, usually by removing both frontal bones, that's called a bifrontal craniotomy, and then with the help of our plastic surgery colleagues, all of whom have excellent expertise dealing with facial abnormalities in children, often we will do a frontoorbital advancement. What that means is that we take off the top of the orbit over here, the bone just behind the eyebrows, and move it a little forward, because in metopic synostosis, there's often a swaying back of the side of this frontal bone, and that can cause poor coverage of the eyes. So this procedure is typically done as a combined neurosurgery, plastic surgery procedure. The goal of the neurosurgeon is to, is to safely remove the bones and protect the underlying brain. Our plastic and reconstructive surgeons who have very aesthetic qualities and are very artistic will remodel those bones and put them back in a more normal fashion so that the child can have their genetically determined normal appearance. The surgery takes about three to four hours. Often a little bit of blood is given during the surgery. The child is typically monitored in the ICU for a day after surgery and the hospital stay is typically between two and three days. Children's Healthcare Atlanta has all the personnel, equipment and expertise that is needed to safely and effectively treat these children both in the operating room as well as post-operatively out of the operating room as well.